This week in our videos, we've been talking about using a layered approach to stay informed before, during, and after disaster. And today we're going to discuss how sirens fit into that picture. Let me be as perfectly clear as I can. Do not rely on the sirens as a primary source or indication that something is wrong. They were never designed to wake you up at night. They were not designed to be heard indoors. The only reason we will sound sirens in Sedgwick County is if a tornado warning has been issued or one of our spotters tells us there's a tornado on the ground. That means it won't even sound for many of the other disasters that we could face. Now, several years ago, we did upgrade our siren system to what we refer to as selective sound. In the old days, if we wanted to activate one siren, we had to activate them all. Now, the only time a siren will be activated is if it is in or immediately adjacent to the worn area. What does that mean? Well, several things. First of all, we're not going to have as many false alarms. If you live down here, the sirens are not going to sound because the storm's not near you and it's not moving towards you. But what it also means is no more siren complacency. If you do hear that nearby siren going off, that means it's already past time that you should have been in shelter. So get there now. If you need more information about our sirens, visit the emergency management page at sedgwickcounty.org. I'm Cody Sharp.